Oh. Oh, isn't this exciting? Hello. So this might be a bit too zoomed in, thinking about it. Hmm. I'm not sure about the focus. Today we will be performing uh, open heart surgery on Motor Storm Pacific Rift. I've got my cutting blade here. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, doesn't this just seem a little bit too zoomed in? What can I do about FOV for the camera? Again with the camp field of view. Nighty, there we go. Priority, frame rate. And then maybe... Uh, rotate, rotate. Oh! It's the wizard behind the curtain! You're not Aiko! So if I drag this out, then now everything is the right height. It's a bit angled, isn't it? Hello. But the main thing that bothers me is the, is the focus. If I can do something to manually adjust the focus of this camera. So let's go to uh, configure manually video. Output is fine. Output doesn't need changing. Video input. I should be able to adjust, like, focus from auto to whatever I want it to be. Zoom. Ah, here we go. It's a bit more. Don't want it too sharp, but then again, sharpening that has helped. Brightness down, contrast up, and that kind of works. Today we'll be performing open heart surgery on a copy of Motorstorm Pacific Rift. The first thing you need to do is open the game up, take the manual, and tear it in half. Okay, yeah, this appears to be working. So this gives me this space here that's visible. So if I put a Gundam box down, yeah, it's about that's that's about right. I'll be right back, but I'm going to keep the stream going. Consider this a bonus extra. Hey, in a Yugi Hacker Show, I'm back. Consider this a bonus extra. I've got my cutting mat here, which I will be using this evening to make the gun plot. I'm happy with this camera angle, actually. It's not bad. The webcam is being wedged in place by the laptop. <laughs> got a choice of colors, blue, and green. That's blue. That's green. That's blue. Um, so we'll have that mat to uh, to cut and break spools open on when we do the Gundam. Just to show you what it looks like on the inside. The fun plasticky bits will be breaking off and then attaching based on instructions. So it's going to be fun. So it's going to be tonight's task. Uh, the cable setup and everything here is really difficult. Behind me right now is a giant ladder. I don't have much room in here to work with currently. This uh, office space is still under a lot of uh, construction. But uh, yeah, instructions and 
got spools full of stuff. Anyway, I figured that today we're going to have a little bonus for everybody who's currently here. So this very solarized looking box has been on my windowsill for fucking forever. It's all warped now. But this, as a little bonus, <laughs> hopefully, despite the sun damage from where it's been in my window, where all these colours are weird, hopefully, the jigsaw puzzle inside will be fine. We are going to build the 9-in-1 Sonic the Hedgehog puzzle. That's right. This is why I got the knife, because I want to slice this cleanly. Always cut away from yourself, guys. Never cut towards yourself, always cut away from yourself. So these, I believe, are colour-coded on the back to indicate which jigsaw puzzle they are. I've been waiting for forever to cover these, and I could never decide on a time to do it. So they're in colour on this side, you, you know, the sun damage isn't occurring. So let's go through these. We've got Sonic and Shadow. That looks like Sonic Unleashed artwork on the Sonic. I don't think Shadow was in Sonic Unleashed. So I'm pulling a blank on where that renders from. Um, got Sonic Shadow and it's silver there. We've got some, uh, some fun, they look like Sonic Channel renders here uh, on these two jigsaws. Now to see if I can close a door and get rid of background sound. Because someone's having a phone call downstairs and I would hate for that to come up on the live stream. Okay, so we've also got Sonic Tails and Knuckles here and some, that looks like Sonic Generations uh, screenshots. But that's Ocean Palace, which, was that the Sonic Heroes stage in HD? Yeah, it was. So that's HD Generations screenshots there on the back. Um, that looks like Sonic Runners renders to me. I'm not entirely sure. Um... Got some classic Sonic Channel artwork here, some more Sonic Channel artwork, Sonic Shadow and Eggman, and then another ensemble cast with renders that don't quite go together. So I'm curious about this. I picked this up at a boot fair. <sighs> I was working at Poundworld. So how long ago was this? 2017 or 2016? I picked this up at a boot fair. This entire Jigsaw Puzzle set brand new, factory sealed, for 50 pence, <laughs> which is like, <laughs> that wouldn't even buy you a third of a cup of coffee here, <laughs> so, oh, all the jigsaw puzzle pieces inside have got colour-coded backs, so in order to complete each jigsaw puzzle, we are going to have to separate each puzzle by their colour. Now, one thing I would like to do eventually is take the jigsaw puzzles and glue them onto some nice proper card and frame them. Because there's something about just jigsaw puzzles in a frame that looks really nice. But for the time being, I just want to um, just build them, even if... You know, we are going to have to unbuild them to put them back in the box. Well, we might not have to, because the box seems to be the right size. One thing I've noticed about all these craft things, like this, or the, or the boxes for Gunpla, is they tend to get quite beaten up, because they're not very thick cardboard. So if we take, for instance, one of the future builds we'll be doing, Mobile Doll Sarah. This actually arrived with kind of a dented box. It's just... It's just the kind of box that these things come in. I'm not too particularly bothered because the item inside is fine, but it would have been nice to display a flat box. Maybe I'll have to um, slice it down, flatten it, and then remake the box. So, might as well just... This was more of an undertaking than I realised it would be. <laughs> While I'm, uh, while I'm here, I'm going to jump on my phone and um, just show that I'm live currently. 
just in case anybody else uh, is around who might want to jump in and watch this test. By using at here, you're about to mention 66 people. There's 66 people online. There's never ever 66 people coming in my stream, is there? <laughs> right, so now we're doing a proper endeavor. Yeah, it's time to go through all these. So, should we separate each color into into a pile? So, so I think it might be fun trying to build these without having the the guides on hand. Um, so, red, 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 red. Orange, orange, that's not orange, yeah, that's orange. No, that's sort of like a brownie color. There's more colors. Red and yellow and pink and green and sort of brownish. Green, green. <laughs> that orange doesn't go all the way to the tip of that one, which is great. Yo, Beans, how's it going? Can you hear me? Am I coming through good? I realize I'm probably coming through a little bit low on uh, on the microphone. So these two different shades, no, they're not two different shades of blue. But some of the color like spreads over on these, purple. That's like a dark blue. So uh, that's purple. Two reds that are attached in the factory. This ain't no easy mode. I'm coming through good. That's what I like to hear. We need to uh, to use the stream as a test to see what works and what doesn't. I notice now, just from doing this, these streams are going to give me a really bad back. So I'm going to have to think of a solution uh, to that at some point. Red, 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 red. A meat beating stream. Uh, no, but you did miss earlier when I threatened to uh, slice open a copy of Motorstorm Pacific Rift just to see what would happen. I got a the bookshelf with all the games on it is to my side right now. But I figured that might be a bit too violent for for YouTube. Orange. Got there's so many colours here. Blue, blue. Maybe I should start putting certain color piles. You know what I really should have got? Some sandwich bags, because I'm hungry. No, the sandwich bags so I could... A cutting board? This is a cutting board. This is part of the furniture. We're, we're not cutting this area. <laughs> Orange. Yellow. God, there's so many pieces. So many pieces. I didn't think this through. If jigsaw puzzles are this bad, how bad a gunpla gonna be? Like, have you seen how many sheets come in a gunpla? Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. I just know it. I can't wait though, that's going to be part of the fun! We're going to have some low level um, Gundam music playing. Or I might just do the whole thing silent so then I can take the video later in there and dub it over. That's such a weird shaped jigsaw piece. Okay. Might have some broken pieces here somewhere. It would be funny if they'd been completely cut wrong and I've got some like factory uh, anomaly that was sealed with incorrect pieces. White, white. Brown, brown. Brown. Brown, brown. 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 So like brown. There's like brown and then there's like orange. And the orange doesn't look the same. Hopefully you don't find a condom in your Sonic puzzles, like my brother did years ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> Factory sealed Sonic condom puzzles. Hey, 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 start him young. Whoa. Hey, at least, you know, they're teaching kids safe sex. It's better than unsafe sex. 
What even is this conversation? Red, green, red. Yeah, I should have got some sandwich bags for this. Uh oh. <laughs> this other weird shit. Foot reveal! Foot reveal! Foot reveal! Foot reveal! Foot reveal! Inside it was a condom. It was used. Someone in the factory really loved Amy Rose. I mean, who can blame them? Brown, brown, brown. Such a like, weird shaped bits of jigsaw. It's bizarre. It's going to take forever just to... I should have really colour-coded the pieces like off, off stream, done that first. That's a white. It's all white. Blue. Purple, 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 purple. Yeah, I didn't anticipate this being so involved. Amy Rose, more like aim my shot and cover her and Rose, say? You could have said more like aim my shot and cover her nose, you know. Like like a facial joke. Speaking of Amy Rose's nose. That's a coincidence. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Reds, greens, purples. So many pieces! I not think there's one for each guy. This is the real challenge. Like, completing these jigsaws shouldn't be too much work, right? Completing the jigsaw should be easy. It's singling out all the pieces that's hard. We should really have some sonic music. It doesn't matter now what happens, I will never give up the fight. There is no way I will run away from all of my fires. Christ. So many. So many. Hey, what's the time where you are? That's the time where I am. God, I'm sweating. I'm sweating this bad from this. How am I gonna handle Gunpla? Which one's the easiest? Purple? <laughs> Oh, all that information is on the back. And that's the part that's underneath all these puzzle pieces. We'll do a fancy quick build animation that'll look really good. And then people will give me money on Patreon. Do you think the camera angle will be wide enough to watch you build the gun plus? Um, yeah, because it's relatively small bits, right? This is the widest angle I can get with this camera, so if it's not wide enough, I'll just have to buy a new camera. 
I can't use the camera that's built into the webcam for this because it's, it's terrible. It's like 320, 240 square, 43. It's an abysmal camera. The camera I'm using here is the uh, Logitech that I've been using uh, on my PC uh, to map Aco's face. But now I've got a phone that can do that. I might keep this camera for this laptop and for craft and puzzle related streams. It just means I'll have one less microphone to work with and that might be an issue on my PC. Because some programs want universal microphone support, i.e. they get full control of the microphone and no other applications allowed to use it while they are. And that can be an issue if you want to map. If, if you want to get your voice on Discord and get it on the live stream at the same time, that can be an issue. Brown, light blue. Gosh! We can get a classic 2007 looking video. That might not be a good idea. Then again, there are people who, you know, they like that old fashioned style content. You know, you wouldn't end up with Sam, Sambro International. Uh, you wouldn't end up with um, content creators like. Uh, Odd header getting popular nowadays if there wasn't some general love for that old fashioned um, 2009 looking content, if there wasn't that nostalgia for videos like that. John Burt. John Burton. Today I'm going to hide a Bible verse in my jigsaw puzzle. Also, by Antstream. I had a great idea that we should kill piracy for good by making a service so bad it makes you want to commit piracy. My dislike of the man is well documented. I want to make this as civil as possible. And let's just say I don't like him very much. It would be boring if we liked everyone all the time, wouldn't it? Yellow, red, yellow, red. Hey, it's almost color-coded <laughs> Sambro 2-2. You shall have pieces, and they shall be colored. Red, brown, blue, white, purple, green, yellow, orange, and indigo. But thou shalt not feel the touch of a woman. Red, white, green, Yeah, when these are done, I'd better fucking frame them. So I had such a horrible experience separating the pieces. So many weird shaped pieces showing up, and that concerns me. Makes me wonder if this has been cut properly. Green, red, yellow, purple. Green, brown. Learning colors with Uncle Matt. It's fucking green. It's goddamn blue. Oh, man. Hey, Sushi Sunshine.
These are jigsaw puzzle pieces. I bet you don't know what we're doing. If you said completing a jigsaw puzzle, you'd be right. And I'd be wrong about you not knowing what we're doing. But we're not completing one jigsaw puzzle. We're completing nine jigsaw puzzles. Because I'm fucking stupid. I hope they're nine jigsaw puzzles. And it's not one big puzzle. Because I wouldn't have the room for one big puzzle. Green. Green. Orange. Go. Red. Go. Go. Brown. Indigo. Indigo. We're. Oh my god. Almost done with the uh, contents of this box. They couldn't have put them in little colour coded bags. You know? That would have made this so much better. Red. Green. Brown. Dark purple. Yellow. Orange. Blue, white, orange. If I can hear that phone call downstairs, you guys can hear that phone call downstairs. And if you guys can hear that phone call downstairs, then a lot of information that I don't fancy getting out is getting out. Oh, nothing to worry about. Noise pollution is a real problem in this house, generally speaking. You can't... Oh, that's a relief. The way these puzzle pieces are coloured, and the colour runs, has got me thinking this is one big puzzle. We can't complete one big puzzle. Because we don't have the room for one big puzzle. What are you saying, Mr. Duck? He pissed in my Cheerios? I'm under the impression that the puzzles won't be any bigger than the box the pieces are in. So I should be able to make the puzzles and lay them flat on top of the previous puzzle. That's what I'm hoping. Because otherwise, we might have some problems. Should have really got some sandwich bags. Hadn't occurred to me that there might be this many puzzle pieces. And they might be all mixed in the box. We'll just move the piles carefully so I can get the box back in the centre. So it's on camera. And then we'll complete all the puzzles. And then I'll take that footage and speed it up and like play Azure Blue World underneath. Windy and Ripley. And then it'll get like two whole views. If I make it a TikTok, it'll probably get views. Like a quick build of a Sonic Jigsaw puzzle. And me singing, let me show you what I'm made of, out of key. <laughs> you 
You shared this stream on Facebook. Just what I need to see. Soccer moms. Orange. Purple. Green. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. That's the kind of sharing you do want. The sharing that's like, hey, I shared your stream. The kind of sharing you don't want is the, hey, I, uh, I'm going to share my deepest, darkest desires with you. That's the kind of sharing you don't want. Right. So I'm going to carefully move all that purple to one side. Blue, brown, and that purple. Might as well start with indigo. So yellows, oranges, right. Puzzle number one will be indigo. Let's indigo. This is where I show myself to be not very good at jigsaw puzzles. Normally I would do the edges. You know, like that. That looks like part of Amy's shoe. Amy's hand. That's a bottom edge. That's a bottom edge. This is where the fun begins. Right, tails. <laughs> Nothing connects. <laughs> you know that feeling when you get a jigsaw puzzle and you can't even work out where a single piece connects to something else? That's, um, that's three. Yeah, yeah, I plan to do Gundam tonight. Right. I need to figure out a better solution for my back, though. Because as it currently stands, haha, <laughs> stands, standing like this is a bad idea. Maybe I should get a little bit of tape, just as I go, and stick tiny bits of tape to the pieces that are right. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hold on, I've got some sticky tape somewhere. Um, or maybe even just some adhesive labels. I'm just going to stick the correct pieces together, so we have a complete jigsaw. That'll do. That's a roll of, uh, hey Johnny, that's a roll of white adhesive stickers. So what I'm thinking is, just as I go, If they're right, just uh, giving them a bit of a, a convincing to stay connected. And then when we find out the full su uh, puzzle size, when we suss out the puzzle size, we can work out if that's a good idea or not. Okay, great. Let's keep going. 
The word Sonic's easy enough to put together. It's very hard to uh, to misspell the word Sonic. It's S O N. Know how to spell it by now. I saw another letter here. It's part of C. Just like that. How's Felix? Not allowed in this room. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't know what Felix is up to at the moment. I know where Felix is. Felix is downstairs in the living room. Cats love things like jigsaw puzzles and stuff like that, so... I kind of want to avoid doing anything that might grab the cat's attention. <laughs> Right, there was a bit of a shoe that I saw. Imagine being that guy who says, I'm going to make all these puzzles, and then like, ten minutes into the next one is like, yeah, I'm done, like and subscribe, it's over. <laughs> Never again. Getting somewhere with this one. But then again, I know my way around Amy Rose. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't know, jigsaw puzzles don't click, you know what I mean? Like, the excitement of building the gunpla is going to be that everything clicks together with a satisfying click, and it's connected, you know? You don't get that with a jigsaw puzzle, unless it's a very well-made jigsaw puzzle. Are these jigsaw puzzles going to end up being, like, really small? Or are there going to be a bunch of puzzles that are, uh, puzzle pieces that are incorrectly printed. So I feel like there's tons of Amy missing here. Like her face? Never mind, found it. <laughs> I was like, I don't see her face. It was the one puzzle piece that I hadn't overturned. A good jigsaw puzzle is cut just right that they click together when you put them together. If they're all sort of loose, then you end up having to do what I'm doing here and taping them together. I think I'll just get one of those uh, tape dispensers. You know the ones? One of them tape dispensers you wear on your wrist. Kind of like that one guy off uh, My Hero Academia. You can shoot tape from his wrists. <laughs> Everybody knows the guy, even if, even if they don't know his name, because he's a boring as fuck character and nobody cares. Mm. No? No. So that's the weird thing about it having these border pieces. Kind of throws me off a little bit. We know where other characters are meant to be, so we could focus on characters we know are nearby. So Tails is above. So.
Maybe that's somewhere there. I think so. Things. Oh yeah, the hero that's clearly not Spider-Man because it's tape. Yeah, that's the guy. That was his name, not Spider-Man. <laughs> Hey, look at that! I'm gonna have these puzzles done in no time, blood! In no time, blood! I'm gonna have these fucking puzzles done in no time, blood! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. It feels like there's stuff missing when I look at how few puzzles puzzle pieces there are here. He's there somewhere. How's Anna, by the way? I don't know. I haven't asked her. Beep, beep. That's the beep, beep for one minute and 11 seconds off the hour. All the pieces for Sonic might be here, actually. It's a bit weird seeing this Sonic Channel artwork all cut up. I'm second-guessing the shape of Sonic characters. <laughs> Where I didn't used to. This gives us an idea of the size of the puzzles, actually. They're not going to be too big. Wagging finger. You're too slow! You need to complete this jigsaw puzzle faster! If you want to defeat Eggman... That's Sonic's foot. Yep. We're getting there. I'm not too slow. Well, the dog's barking is based on a who's around and active in the house sort of thing. And if I plan my stream times around when people are less likely to be moving around and causing a ruckus, then the dog is heard less. 
I can't guarantee that tonight during Gumpla. You'll probably hear Anna. Which I know a lot of people like hearing Anna. I don't. <laughs> If I truly had my own space, there wouldn't be any interruptions like that. Bit of a hand. It's got to be tails. Yeah. There's a lot of weird, like, edges and bits of the ring now. Left to put out. Just out of curiosity, would you consider doing a Duolingo stream? You know, that's a very good question. Um, I'm not actually opposed to that. Uh, truth be told, I really do need to learn another language. I've been considering giving Japanese another go. But in terms of practical languages that you can use in everyday life from a business point of view, honestly, the best languages to learn would be stuff like Chinese or Korean. Languages that actually are used in the business world. If you know English, you already know the third biggest business language. Spanish the second, Chinese the first. Is that a border piece? These border pieces are so weird. I've never come across a border piece before like that in uh, in jigsaw puzzles. Like a weird straight line piece. That is completely new to me. But we're almost done with the first one, which means, you know... Clearly I'm not the big jigsaw puzzle slouch. I thought I was. Which means these jigsaw puzzles have a border around this edge, but they don't have a border around this edge. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Like, they made a bunch of widescreen artwork, and then they're like, oh, no, actually, this doesn't, this doesn't work for us. We can only print very weird and specific pieces. <laughs> it's almost done. Feeling pretty good about this one. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably give Japanese another go. It's not the most practical language to learn, but you know, if I learn Japanese and then I meet a beautiful Japanese lady, um the caveat being that she must have her um, standards set incredibly low, but I'm sure they exist. Um, find myself a Japanese lady whose standards are incredibly low, and then... Elope, I guess? So it looks like these are separate jigsaw puzzles as part of a big puzzle. That's very... Um, impossible for me to build, unless there's a couple of pieces I've managed to lose in the ensuing chaos. Yeah, there's a couple of pieces I think I've just managed to lose in the ensuing chaos, because they have like a certain colour on them, you know? Like I'm probably just missing a couple of blue pieces that got lost. Yeah, there we go. They're probably amongst the other pieces here. So what I'm going to do is uh, stick this together as is. And then we can come back to it when the couple of uh, other puzzle pieces turn up. Testing. Welcome, Eden the Pro. Yes, I'm testing... Uh, craft related streams so everything will work fine when we build one of these so I'm currently attempting to build a jigsaw with an over the uh, 
over the camera, over the over the top camera, over the top camera. Whoa! Yeah, why do these pieces have like a bit of yellow stuck on them? Because the yellow, because the yellow jigsaw connects. That's what it is. So they are all connected. So I'm going to have to build each one separately, and then maybe at some point get a nice big uh, piece of card to uh, glue them all onto. Korean's one of those business languages, same for Chinese, and Spanish, and English. Learning those is handy. I might one day. But I just fancy learning Japanese and then just fucking off. And no one will ever hear from me again. One of those few times I wish I was American, because, you know, you have a right to disappear under the, <laughs> under the US Constitution. It's one of your freedoms in America. The freedom to fuck off. I didn't anticipate how much stuff would be needed to connect this. Recommend a series on YouTube you can find called Let's Speak Korean. If I decide to learn Korean, that sounds handy. There's a YouTube channel out there that can teach me how to get a Japanese wife without brainwashing her. Or with brainwashing her. Just let me know. That's one. I don't know where the other corner pieces are. I think they're all part of separate puzzles that are connected together. So. Shall we? A painting stream. I was thinking about doing that in VR. But. Mainly because I can't justify buying all those. Painting bits. And they'll be painting when we do Gundams anyway. Not on the one we're building tonight, because that one doesn't need paint. This one, completely moulded in all the correct colour plastics. Not a problem. These two have uh, stickers and... Uh, details that you need to paint on, so... <laughs> there will be some painting further down the line. Nice big pieces on this one. Just want to go quickly. Nope. Nope. Yep. <laughs> big pieces, they'll go quickly and he still fucks up. Not even sure how it's all framed together yet. We'll figure that out as we go. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Nice. So, looks like we're going to have this part done first. So we're going to be starting from knuckles, it seems, in connecting everything together. This one isn't too bad. Attached to Sonic's ear. That's got to be the rainbow on the top there. Yep. Nice and easy. We got here. Oh, Tails is in this one as well. Of course he is. Daryl was thinking this one was going nice and quick. It's a chemical plant. And a little bit of Seaside Hill, I think this connects with... Yep, with this one. This one's got nice big pieces. So, Sonic's face. Some ears for tails. I think we should attach these together. Yeah, note to self, get a scotch tape dispenser. My workplace sells them, so. Probably not too expensive. So that's all the dark brown pieces. So we've got to be able to make the entire puzzle with these. Oh, look at the construction on that one. Oh, that's poor. That one got bent in the factory. Right. So they turn out roughly the same size. Yeah, it looks like all of these connect together when they're done. A ring in the corner? Doesn't connect to anybody's shoes. Uh huh. It does with this piece. Yeah. 
Nice. We had Tails' head earlier. Getting used to standing like this now. Might not be too bad standing and uh, building Gumpler like this. Something like that. There's some pro jigsaw player out there that's just watching this and he's like, oh, this person's terrible. They don't know the first thing about building a jigsaw. Or perhaps they don't know the first thing about making building a jigsaw entertaining. So, I mean, I'll accept that. So, it's that one. For sure it's that one. So, yeah, again, there's some of these side panels just missing. Which means these all connect together. These finished puzzles. Connecting them all together is something that might have to be done off stream. If I honestly cared about doing this properly. Right. Are they all Sonic puzzles? This is a set of nine. Sonic the Hedgehog jigsaw puzzles that when connected together I now learn make one big Sonic the Hedgehog jigsaw puzzle Is that even right if it just like if the colour is weird like that. Yeah, it's meant to be that one. Go figure. You can see where the colour bleeds over into the attached puzzles. if I'm going to stand here and do all six or if, uh, you know, I'd be like, hey, this was a nice test, camera works, location of the webcam is good, we're done here, and then I close it off after this jigsaw puzzle in a hilarious fashion. This stream has been going an hour. Gotta be a better system for attaching these. I'll give it some thought at some point. Hmm. What's another nice, easy looking one? The white. The white puzzle pieces are very big. Actually, 
from a quick observation, they're not as big as they looked. And there's lots of them. Ugh. Right. Amy again. Tails. I got out my map and found some lizards to go to. Set out for adventure. Shadow. Oh, blazes on this one. Just like me, going out in a blaze of glory. Helps if you know the characters, I suppose. Grown man does jigsaw for children on live stream. Okay, let's be real. What other time were you going to get a jigsaw puzzle stream? Like, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic, guys. When were you going to get one otherwise? It's the last thing I was ever expecting. <laughs> you know what? I was expecting him to dark side Phil and accidentally masturbate on stream long before he did a jigsaw puzzle. Knuckles dreads. Puts us there. This one's got a Sonic logo in the middle. Should really be looking at the legend of each puzzle, but I'm doing fine without it, to be honest. Legend might make things too easy. Sonic. Sweet, sweet, yours so sweet. So many things I want. Need Sonic's face. Here's Sonic's face. I believe in the heart of the jigsaw pieces. The next piece I need is Cream's ears. <sighs> if you have faith in your jigsaw puzzle pieces, Not bad. Again, four pieces on the edges that connect to other jigsaws. Of course. Yeah, I don't like DSP either. Mwah! Mwah! Fucking... Seriously, the worst thing about jigsaw puzzles is that they come apart.
It's okay. It's back. It's new, it's wild, it's Sega Games from Shaw Wallace. I was thinking about doing a a web shop where I sell jigsaw puzzles that are complete, except one piece is missing. It's glued to a piece of card or whatever, right? And then the one missing jigsaw piece is glued to the side. So you've got a forever unfinished jigsaw puzzle. be a great present to give to people with OCD. It's a present that would just destroy friendships. <laughs> Next complete puzzle. Alright, so that's one third of them. I can't count. I can count. That's three puzzles and there's nine. That's one third of them. Be careful who you call ugly in middle school. Here's a bit of brown. Just throw that in there. <laughs> There's bits of white, which we just built. Let's ignore that. Right. Purple. Another nice large one. Sonic and Shadow again. Shadows here. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Sonic. Shadows. 
Shadow. 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 So I mean about noise pollution. I wonder if you guys could hear the car with the very loud exhaust. God, it's warm in here. There's not really a fan solution for that. Not with this current setup. Is that Crisis City behind them? No, Speed Highway from Generations. Well, it's been generations since I've seen you. Whoa. Bottom, bottom. Yeah, there's a lot of noise pollution. Just one of the downsides of this room, but I don't really have any other spaces I can do this kind of construction work in. You know, puzzles and gunpla and everything like that. Not really a great deal of space available to me. So, speaking of Sonic, there was a new fan game released recently. Thought I might check it out. Because people are saying it's the same level of polish as a actual Sonic game. Like, it seems very professional. That one stream where I randomly played Sonic Worlds for no reason, still like one of my most successful streams. So I might check out this Sonic Om Omnius or whatever it's called, Sonic Omens, that's it. People seem to be raving about it. whole bunch of controversy uh, regarding it. Minor spoilers for somebody's fan game where spoilers don't even fucking matter. Uh, Maria's in it. And someone was poking around in her textures and found the word. The words bad girl. <sighs> Written on her underwear. They started going on this moral crusade about it. I just think it's funny. Because it falls apart, it's very easy to lose the completed puzzle. And stick together what we've got.
So let's say I've got a camera set up like this, which I do, as you can see. What kind of other things can I do with this setup besides like jigsaw puzzles and gunpla? Would this angle be good for like figurine reviews? I've got cool special editions of things that I can show off. Rare figurines and collectibles. That's where I was getting lost with that one. The laptop hasn't died. I dragged this thing kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Well, it's a bit of an exaggeration. It's my gaming laptop from a few, uh, a few years ago, so it's more than powerful enough to stream. But like, I hadn't been powered on in so long, Windows is like, we need to confirm it's you. Log in. Like, okay, um, if it's not me, who else could it be? <laughs> you know. Who else could it be with my login details and who knows my pin to get into my computer? Who else could it be? No one does be like. No, we need to make sure it's you. Uh, Windows 10 laptop. All right, Sushi. Well, I appreciate you coming and hanging out. You might call it a day at four jigsaws. And then, you know, <laughs> if people actually give a shit about Sonic the Hedgehog jigsaws, maybe I'll come back and finish the rest. <laughs> Maybe I can edit it into some kind of daft highlight reel. Imagine someone wanting to see me finish all these jigsaws. That's after somebody who's watched through the VOD has typed, Yeah, I want to see you finish the jigsaws. And then I insult them. Through the power of time travel. I need to stop doing that. If I upset my audience, nobody's going to come hang out. And <laughs> watch me complete fucking jigsaws. <laughs> Jesus. That's number four. Four of 
nine jigsaws. That one's actually complete. <laughs> Beverage time. Behold, methylated spirits. Okay, it's not methylated spirits. It's Tropic Punch flavor sun kissed or wilers or something as long as it takes the edge off the water I'm not really bothered what the flavor is but tropic punch has been quite nice actually It's got silver in it. Not on any of these connections there. There's one in between. Kind of idea though. Definitely something like that. Phew, done with lifting, now I can eat and enjoy the puzzling. Well, we're four puzzles in of nine, and I went from regretting this stream to liking this stream to regretting it again. <laughs> So what I've learned here, really, is uh, the stepladder that's behind me needs to move, and I need to sort myself out with a chair. But other than that, this is a pretty good setup. For something that I completely fucking winged <laughs> this afternoon, so I would have a setup. That looks like the corner, doesn't it? And then... It's part of Sonic Spine. Shadow's in this one. Sonic Shadow and Silver. Sort of tell based on the shoes. So, yeah, Sonic sort of overlaps with Silver, which is why I was getting confused with that um, puzzle piece earlier. It's now starting to make sense. I need to think of a way to make these slightly more entertaining, these streams. I don't have that many funny stories to tell. If we make them Q&A, they'll get boring after a while. When I've answered the same question seven times. Hopefully, when I start building... Gunpla.
people with an interest in Gunpla will show up. And they might give some advice. Provide some interesting facts about the game or franchise. Ah, well. What can be said about Sonic the Hedgehog that hasn't already been said? Looking forward to Sonic Frontiers. Everybody in, on the internet's been sort of poo-pooing that. But it was a recent community post by Spawnwave. And in that community post, Shadow's on this side. On that community post... He posted, like, who's looking forward to, to Sonic Frontiers, you know. And the poll responses were all, like, quite negative. They were like, the game needs more time, you know, it needs to be delayed. Or, I'm not, you know, I'm not looking forward to, to Gamescom, you know, because it's going to be Sonic Frontiers and all this. And I responded... With something along the lines of... <laughs> I responded with something along the lines of... The game will make sense when it's in our hands and we're playing it. You know. That's when we'll understand its eccentricities. It is done. It is ready. And it is coming out this year. <laughs> there was somebody who responded to my comment saying... <laughs> Love the enthusiasm. Because the the main discourse for uh, for Sonic Frontiers has been so negative. I get it. It's a Sonic game, right? People have zero faith. I get that. I do. I understand. But I, for one, I'm excited. You know. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers is... Look, it's going to be bad. It's a 3D Sonic game, right? But... I'm excited for it. And, you know, I've... I've really struggled to enjoy video gaming as a hobby recently. Like, for real. That's why I'm doing stuff like this. And I'm going to be building this. It's because I'm looking for other things that... I can get into because gaming's been so just dry. I got fatigue. Gaming fatigue. You know? A game comes along that I'm actually excited about. That I actually think might get me out of my slump. And the rest of the internet hates it before they've even had a chance to play it. You know? First the internet has decided they don't like it. Straight out of the game. Have you tried diving into the shallow end of your collection of retro games? The, the Fortnite Dragon Ball thing is a case of... Okay. So the way these Fortnite events work is that they'll introduce the event and there will be, like, a set of quests to do day one, right? And it will be a bunch of quests. And then the rest of the quests will become available over the course of the week. So these events usually last for two weeks. And over the course of the first week, more of the quests get unlocked. So if you're playing it on day one, you can only complete, like, so many quests. You have to wait for them all to be added. So if I'm playing it every day, or if I'm playing it every two or three days, I still end up making the same progress as everyone else because only certain events are available on certain days. Well, only certain events are available uh, when they're unlocked and they unlock after so many days. So, yes, I'm enjoying the Fortnite Dragon Ball Z crossover. And when I play it tomorrow evening, 
with Anne and possibly Koi, Jim, there will be a lot more quests to do. And therefore there will be a lot more progress to make. Because there will be yesterday's quests, which I didn't play. There'll be today's quests that I didn't play. And tomorrow's quests will be available. So there'll be three days worth of quests available to get. So. Taking a few days off of the event doesn't put me in a less viable position. Have you thought about a drawing art stream? I did one before a very long time ago, back on Justin TV. There's the ice cream man in his ice cream van. He's come to wage war on the other ice cream vendors. He's come to allegedly um, kidnap the children of the other ice cream. Uh... Did I ever tell this story? There was this wonderful lady, wonderful lady who used to sell ice creams in our area, right? And one day she stopped selling ice cream and we saw her in the co-op one day we asked her yeah why have you stopped selling ice cream we miss having you around and she said that her children had essentially the the other ice cream guy had threatened to kidnap her children if she didn't stop selling ice cream so you know it's a it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. They're in ice cream selling. Oh, that is a... That is some nice methylated spirits. Mm-mm-mm. Tastiest wallpaper stripper I've ever drank. <laughs> All right, so there's four more colors to go. Orange. A lot of shadow in this uh, jigsaw set, which is fine because unpopular opinion time. You can like Shadow the Hedgehog as a character without being, oh my God, edgelord, right? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who like Shadow because, oh my god, Edgelord, but... He's the most, like, key component of Sonic Adventure 2. Without him, the entire masterpiece plot doesn't work. Herein lies the problem. By killing Shadow the Hedgehog off, spoilers, I guess, for uh, Sonic Adventure 2... <laughs> Which came out 30 years ago, or whatever. Um, okay, 28 years ago. Thing is, right. Shadow's, like, really important to that plot. And it's implied, you know, he's the... He's a copy of the ultimate life form. And... Sonic is the ultimate life form. You get these beautiful moments of top tier writing. Putting together a puzzle, I'm assuming the first stream is a color calibration stream. Is the color wrong? Because I mean, I could do something about that. Does it look bad? Has the milk gone off?
numpad 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 no can't do that with the numpad one hundred This will be known as that moment where TB comes in. And then I have to color correct all the old footage. Remember that moment where TB showed up and I had to color correct all the footage? An Xbox copy of Shadow the Hedgehog. Hmm. Well. That's a blunder. Now, I don't particularly think Shadow the Hedgehog is a bad game. Well. Outside of the prerequisite that it's a 3D Sonic game and it was developed in record time from the components of... <laughs> Of Sonic Heroes. I mean, some rushed games are good. Just take a look at Majora's Mask. It's a very unfortunate situation. Sonic uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. You go to create a game around a character that's dead. And you try to set it ahead of the game the character dies in, chronologically. So now you have a situation where you have to explain away how that character's still alive. Is he a clone? Is he an alien? Is he the ultimate life form? You know what? We can't decide. Let's just put 360 endings in the game and then just have the player decide which one it is. I mean, it sounds stupid, right? There's no way they would do that. They did that. <laughs> they did that. Why? Because when you find yourself in that situation, where the only way you can make a game based on a character that's dead is to explore it as a series of what-ifs, then you end up in a situation where every scenario you create, every explanation for why the story went the way it did, is a what-if scenario. Is there a canon ending to Shadow the Hedgehog? Arguably, yes. But I'm fucked if I know which one it is. <laughs> Got no clue. Don't even hate the game. It's... <sighs> Mechanically, not very good, but there's some fun concepts in it. Like there's a level where you go inside a computer, and the whole level is virtual. It's kind of neat. Yeah, there's vehicles to ride around, shit like that. Pretty dope for like some shitty mascot platformer. You don't expect a, a great deal of quality from a game like that, so... Game not completely sucking. It's kind of neat. Anyway, where was I? The importance of Shadow and Sonic Adventure 2. 
I don't know. Who the fuck cares? It's a video game, isn't it? <laughs> kind of swore off those recently. That's part of Eggman's hand. Goo goo gajube. Yes. That's starting to uh, take shape. How are we doing? It's a jigsaw puzzle. Six. Not going to connect them all together because I don't have the room to connect them all together. Might do it off stream if I can find a piece of paper or card that's the right size. I work two doors down from a craft shop. They might just be able to cut me a piece of card the right size and then just sort of like roll it up in a tube. Now I can have a massive mural across the wall with the uh, Sonic Jigsaw on it. If anything, I prove that this setup with the laptop is, you know, it functions. Not even connected Ethernet, it's wireless. Wireless signal's fantastic. I'm in the same room as the router. Fantastic connection in here. There's something satisfying about just, like, the cut of jigsaw pieces. The shape of them. You know what's also great? The way they fall apart all the time. Really love that. I don't. But that's why I spend time connecting all the pieces. So I can lay all the completed puzzles flat in the box. And they stay completed. Oh, yeah. Anybody who's here right now, one of the two concurrent viewers. There goes the ice cream van again. I recently got my hands on a prototype version of the latest Shantae game, a beta build. Someone leaked it online. Now, I've not played half Genie Hero, so I don't know <laughs> anything about the game, but uh, someone leaked the prototype online. I wanted to check out, check it out maybe as a part of an archive dive. Bring back archive dive. I did love Archive Dive as a as a show, as a as a stream concept. I always have. I like the weird nature of Archive Dive. Like anything could show up on it, you know. Like we did the MySpace Dragon Horde. We've done a press release disc. We've done a raw full of old um, fan-made Tenchu levels. So, bring back Archive Dive and play the Shantae beta. What I'll do is maybe grab hold of a couple more prototypes as well off there. Maybe some Xbox 360 ones or something. So we can make a whole, like, archive dive. Protos. Or something. Segment. There's a whole bunch of SpongeBob betas that are fascinating. They've got 
leaked a while back. An assets disc from uh, Climax Studios that contained... Well, let's see, what was on that disc? Um, artwork and art assets from the Spongebob show directly from Nickelodeon and Viacom. Actual show assets. For reference material. Emulators for Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, etc. And illegitimate copies of classic retro games that the team at Climax Studios were told to play as examples of the game that they should be developing. Prototype uh, placeholder versions of voice clips. Rude drawings of Spongebob and Patrick engaging in sexual activities. Prototype levels, prototype game builds. Might be fun to take a look at those discs, because there's so much weird stuff. Just as part of that whole Spongebob asset leak. It's honestly quite fascinating. So it looks like all these puzzles connect left to right. I was worried that would be the case, because that's going to be the hardest thing to uh, to mount or or present. God, ice cream man's doing shit ton of business today. How many kids he got locked up in his basement today? Mister Ice Cream Man, tell us. Without context, that's going to sound weird, but anybody who was here earlier will understand. Anybody who wasn't will be like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Doko? <laughs> what the... What the fuck? This one doesn't seem too bad. Again, nice big pieces and the artwork makes sense. Can't believe I'm actually doing all of them. I joked that I was going to quit out ages ago. And I almost did. But now... Uh, I guess I'm in this till the... Till the end. Where's Tails in this? Knuckles is above Tails to the right. Hmm. Let's try and focus on Knuckles then. Looking for... Ah. The Hedgehog. The Hedgehog gives me a palm tree. Which connects Sonic. So Sonic's all the way on the left. Puzzle piece. More like puzzle piss. Ugh, puzzle piss. Damn. <laughs> Keep rotating it until it looks right. That's how you complete the puzzles in Banjo Kazooie. So like, keep rotating it until it looks right. Do -do 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 do 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 Woohoo! Oh, if it's if it's um, Banjo Kazooie, then you have to do this. <laughs> you stamp it in when it's right. Woohoo! Knuckles' shoe. One, two, Knuckles' shoe. And it goes that way. 
so it connects to that one. The shoes is the hard part of this one. The shoes is what's throwing me off. That's Sonic's mouth. That's right, Sonic has a buckle in like this model. Yes. This is starting to make sense now. What are we thinking? That's starting to look like a puzzle. Aiko, can I ask you a dumb question? Go ahead. I'll decide if it's a dumb question. It might be a very good question, and it might spur us into some interesting conversation, and thus make the stream uh, more palatable than just someone completing a jigsaw puzzle, which is probably a bit boring. Go ahead. Make my day. Um, that's throwing me. Oh, it just looks upside down. Name ten things you don't give a rat's ass about. Ten things? That I absolutely have no interest in at all? Hmm, let's see. Cryptocurrency. NFTs. That's two. Absolutely not interested in. Turn based strategy games. God, I've tried. That's three. Love Island. I would say reality TV shows like Love Island, but I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy a little bit of the masked singer. I know, sad. <laughs> I'd be lying. So, Love Island. And you can sort of extend that to The Only Way is Essex and all those other shows. So what's that? That's four, right? Is it? Cryptocurrency, NFTs, uh, real-time uh, turn-based strategy games, Love Island, and all those other shitty reality TV shows. Hmm. Let's see. What else am I... What else do I not give a rat's ass about? Political ideologies. I was going to say massively multiplayer online role-playing games, but actually... I think it's more accurate to say I haven't played one that... That I, uh... I just haven't played the one for me yet, I think. Okay, mobile games! 
games. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mobile games. I give a fuck about mobile games. Used to. But no, not in recent years. No interest in mobile games. Let's see, so what's that? Cryptocurrencies. NFTs. Turn-based strategy games. Love Island. Political ideologies. Mobile games. I might struggle to reach 10. So, I'm going to stop trying. It was a good question, though. It made me think. What is your ranking of the eight Yakuza games? It's interesting that you say eight. As far as I'm concerned, there's a lot more than that. <laughs> you mean the eight mainline, right? So, my favourite Yakuza game of the eight mainline Yakuza games is Yakuza... Eight Yakuza games? Hold on. There's seven mainline Yakuza games. Oh, zero, of course. Yeah, <laughs> eight, right. So my favorite is Yakuza 7. Without a doubt, Yakuza 7 is my favorite, the mainline Yakuza games. I know, the one that doesn't play anything like the others. But I just like Ichiban as a character. I just find that game world just incredibly appealing. And then the others, it's it's a bit more difficult to say. Like, if we're counting the Kiwami versions in with the regulars, so Kiwami and 1, Kiwami 2 and 2, then if we're counting them both together, then the Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2 are actually fairly far down the list. Like, fairly far down the list. Um, I like, I like 6. I like Yakuza 6 a lot. The plot's pretty pathetic, as far as Yakuza games go. It's got a very sort of pathetic plot. It doesn't really go anywhere. But, the gameplay in it's really tight. And apart from a couple of times you have to shake a baby... You know, apart from that, it's okay. So I'd probably say Yakuza 7 is my favourite, followed by 6. Um, then I like Yakuza 4. I like Yakuza 4 a lot. Then 3. Then 0. But three and zero are probably interchangeable. Then one slash Kiwami, then two. Five's at the bottom, and not for any particular like quality based reason. I just I haven't played five. Where did I lose that jigsaw puzzle? I see it. Right, I'll worry about it when I've built the rest of the puzzle. Because I'm going to have to get under this unit. <laughs> While the live stream is on? Humana, humana. This, this one's going to be mean. Look at how many parts there are. Look at the size of them. All of Sonic's friends are here. We built so many puzzles that didn't didn't have edges, so there's a lot of edges here as well. Let's see. 
That's his name. Done, at the very least. Okay. Yakuza 5 with the three other main characters. Yeah, there's five playable characters in Yakuza 5. One of them is Haruka, for some reason. Yeah, no, I, uh, I've yet to play 5. So I can't have an opinion on 5. So 5 is naturally at the bottom. But, you know, ranking Yakuza games is unfair. Because when you rank something and it has a top and a bottom, it implies that the top is the best and the bottom is the worst of something, right? It implies that the thing that's at the bottom is bad. But when all the Yakuza games are so good, you know? You end up in a situation where... You end off... You end up giving off the impression that the thing in last place is bad when, you know, thing in last place is great. Because you're ranking so many great things. Uh, name five retro video games you haven't played in absolute eons that you'd like to play again. Well, that's a tricky one. If I get back into video games... I'm going to want to focus on new experiences. Playing the things in the backlog that I haven't played. So I'm not going to be likely to return to old games. Generally speaking. I'll play old games, yes. But old games I haven't played before is the kind of focus I want to take. That said... If I were to answer your question with retro games that I haven't played in forever that I'd want to play. Hmm. Again. I want to play through the campaign of Splatoon again, the first Splatoon, and actually beat it. That's definitely one. Can we call Wii U retro? I suppose at this point you can call anything that you can't buy in the shop retro. <laughs> Which is definitely Wii U, because you can't buy that anywhere anymore. Um... Yeah, Splatoon's campaign I would like to play through. The original Splatoon. Um, just looking at my shelf next to me. There's a lot of 360 games that I played back in the day that I'd probably want to play through the campaign of again. Soul Calibur V's campaign is actually pretty good. Wouldn't mind playing through that again. Let's see. Crash Mind Over Mutant. Yeah. That game's way better than anybody gives it credit. Um, wouldn't mind playing through Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit again. It's a lot of 360 in my list, because... I think, as I go forwards, the 360 is sort of turned into my favourite console. Um... It's just something about that era of games. It meant a lot to me. I was really into gaming then. I'd just come out of secondary school when I was in college. And I spent all of my secondary school years playing Nintendo DS and... PSP. In terms of consoles, I was still playing old consoles. Like, old, old consoles. I was playing PS2 stuff. This puzzle is... This one's bad. This one's really hard. 
<laughs> there's so many just like odd shapes. You have to look at a, a piece really hard and decide what character it is, and it's just not that easy. Right, so it's cream and then knuckles. That's kind of working. Anti-gravity chocolate, that's kind of working. Spooky streams? Oh yeah, defo. Um, there's a lot of old 360 horror games that I haven't played through that I want to play to get achievements on them. We know... Do we do Saw 2? Saw 2 of Flesh and Blood. We did. We did do Saw 2, I think. Ooh, receipt for Saw 2. Let's take a look. Saw 2, £6. <laughs> Lucinda Green's Equestrian Challenge for PS2. Oh, yeah. I'm concerned about Halloween stuff this year. I don't think we're going to get very much of it in the UK. Okay, so we might actually, thinking about it. Let me explain my logic. Um, last year, there wasn't any Halloween stuff until right before Halloween itself. My employer... The company, not specifically my employer, but the, the company that I work for, decided that it would be better off to hold on to all that Halloween stuff and do it the next year, which will be this year. If it's within the country right now, the stock, then that's fine. If the stock has to come from elsewhere, then there will be no Halloween this year. Because it's not just us. Every retailer is affected right now by, uh, by the conflict in Ukraine, amongst other things. But mainly the conflict in Ukraine. A lot of stores in the UK, they got their stock by freight, by freight train, through Russia. Once that was no longer possible, they had to get their stock to stores another way. By sea. And now everyone's competing to send their stock by sea. Wouldn't it be a great time for massive holdups on the way to Dover? Causing everything to slow down and shut down. Massive holdups. Absolutely the worst time for that sort of thing to happen. Sure enough. If the stock isn't in the country right now for Halloween, then we're fucked. There's going to be no Halloween this year. If the stock is within the country, then we're fine. There will be big Halloween event. I hope there is. Halloween's... Halloween's always been one of my favourite holidays, I guess, because I was never really allowed to celebrate it. Because, you know, you should see the books that are around me right now in this room, right? My parents, religious, um, not to the point where they're like, oh my god, um, you don't believe in God, you're a heathen. You know, <laughs> thankfully, nothing like that. But my parents, very religious, very religious people. And, you know, they... They study a lot of theology. They're quite into their theology. So we've got books and books and books, religious books, above this laptop that I'm streaming from. Religious books. Religious books in boxes behind me. Religious books. Lots of them. This office space wasn't being used. So I made an endeavour to uh, 
convert it into my own space. I was surprised when I was given the go-ahead to do so. But right now, the hardest part of this setup is getting this in a state where it's, you know, usable as a space. If you saw the botch job I'm doing right now to make this layout work, in the corner of a room, camera attached to a desk, Is it Sonic's face that fell? That'd be kind of funny. It's Sonic's face that fell earlier. Coming along. A lot of like cliffside and palm trees and stuff like that. It's made this one a little bit trickier to complete. But we're getting there. Yeah, a lot more puzzle pieces in this one. Are loot crates and whatever still popular? To a certain extent, mystery boxes will always be popular. People love to gamble. I mean, not, I'm no exception. When an anime mystery box shows up, if I can afford to get it, I will. From somewhere like um, all the anime. So they're mystery boxes, you know, on occasion, something really good in them. I was it recently I got a box from them and it had, like, the complete Outlaw Star on Blu-ray. I mean, <laughs> when I first watched that, it was on DVD. So they get, like, a Blu-ray copy of Outlaw Star. Yeah, it's Sonic's face that fell. Any Blu-ray or DVD pickups recently? I picked up a movie called... Ghost Dog? My friend at work, the movie buff, he's like, Oh, that's good! That's a great film. You'd love Ghost Dog. So it's got... It's got the Simon seal of approval. He likes it. I think it received some Film 4 funding, that one. It's got a super duper director involved with it, I can't remember off the top of my head. But a pretty good director involved, and the actor was noteworthy as well, but I can't remember off the top of my head who they were. That was quite a nice little uh, acquisition. Are you still doing Real Asia? So, Real Asia was a lovely concept, a great idea, right? I got all this anime, all these martial artist films and Asian movies. It would be great 
cover them all. And then, in a weird sort of twist of fate, once watching something becomes a form of creating content, The love for it goes in the same way that, like, the love for video games has dwindled. When you turn what you love into a job, you kind of stop loving it. That's sort of what happened with Real Asia. And those videos, right, those Real Asia videos, they're not like easy to edit like shit tons of work goes into real asia videos shit tons of work and it's just finding the drive to cover it yes um spy family i unless they've come back from hiatus and they have more episodes um i've seen all of spy family so far which i believe is 13 episodes i really like the show so far comes back in october uh, right Yeah, it's a really good show. Um, favorite character is probably Anya. In some ways, she's become the main character, and I'm all for that. Not only is she adorable, but she's kind of like the... She's like the post that everything else is attached to in that show. Like there's so many times that her psychic powers have have got Lloyd out of a uh, out of a sticky situation. The Great Spy Twilight would have uh, would have ended up in a very bad situation if he hadn't somehow, by complete accident, managed to adopt a girl with psychic powers. It's fun. It's a fun show. Well, yeah, it's interesting. Once something you love, let me break it down for you. So let's say I'm in the mood to make a real Asia Super Smash shows, right? There's three episodes of a show. One one episode of each show. What if I wanted to watch that show just like casually the situation I find myself in is I'll be browsing down Crunchyroll looking for stuff to watch right and something will show up and I'm like oh yeah I want to watch this and then I think but wouldn't this work better in a Super Smash shows and then what happens is because I'm like this would work better in Super Smash shows. I end up putting the show on a list of Super Smash shows topics that never happen. And that's the problem. I talk myself out of making content. 
or rather I talk myself out of playing games or what yeah I think that's more accurate I talk myself out of playing talk myself out of playing games that I want to play or watching shows that I want to watch because I'm like oh that'll make good content so I end up not watching it or I watch it and I'm so focused on how I'm going to turn it into content or I'm playing it and I'm so focused on how I'm going to turn it into content that um, I can't just turn off and enjoy myself. That happened recently with um, a little bit of insider information for you. You're only going to hear it here. Recently in um, Pillage the Pile, I completed a playthrough of Open Season for Xbox 360. What should have been just like me having fun playing a licensed platformer? Uh, was a session of me, like, while I'm playing the game, I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if I wrote this in the script? Wouldn't it be funny if I did this and did that? I was looking at it solely from a content point of view. And now that it's come to the point where I've got to write the script, writer's block. Absolute fucking writer's block. Bad writer's block. I can't bring myself to even look at the Google Docs. How's the condom free puzzle going? We're on uh, the last puzzle, puzzle number nine. Why did I choose to do this today? On top of the uh, the gunpla building, <laughs> if I check it out the gunpla building, it's gonna be like you promised. Is it gonna be like that? <laughs> Am I allowed to postpone gunpla building? <laughs> Let's ask the viewers. I didn't realize this was going to take three hours. If this is what building gunpla is going to be like. I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh, well, no, no, I haven't. Wow. I'm just looking at this. It's just a, it's just a, a whole mess of fucking shapes. <laughs> the new Taiko no Tatsujin. Ah, yeah, well, it's interesting what happened with Taiko, right? So, I haven't been feeling all that good since I caught the you know what. Taiko was one of the last two games I played, basically, before. Um, I came down with that. Like, if you were there for the live stream, I don't know who was there for the live stream. Where I was like, I'm gonna play songs on Taiko, right? And I got like ten songs in. I was like, this isn't fun anymore. I'm gonna go play. Fucking, what was it? Exhumed. Power Slave. Kind of weird, but... Feeling shit around the time I was playing that has kind of... connected it together in my mind. In the way that I associate... Uh, this might just sound crazy, but I associate playing Taiko with... being ill. <laughs> like, that connection has happened in my head. 
I know. I know. Crazy. God, this puzzle is crazy. idea what we're looking at here exactly it's a bit of tails but how does it connect like that. we'll get there the uh New Tyco game for Switch looks all right. The the whole subscription service thing won't apply to me because, of course, with the PC version, there's we are now turning on the light. With the PC version, there's yeah mods. So the whole idea of a of a Tyco membership that gives you access to six hundred songs or whatever. I mean, that functionality already exists on PC through modding. So that wouldn't be a draw for me. It would be if the story mode and the gameplay features of the new Switch one are enough to draw me in. And Actually, I'm not sure if they would be. Genuinely. This is the last puzzle, and it's just... <sighs> That's not even the right spot for that piece. Oh, oh, oh. Thought for a minute we were getting somewhere then. Sort of are. We should name a time and a place, get some cold ones, a curry and a pizza, and just build a puzzle and shout on stream. Yeah. With a voice chat and everything. That's going to be the fun experiment tonight. Is Discord on the laptop. You know. If I go ahead with it. Can we do something about this shadow? Yeah. That might make some sense of this puzzle. Right. Streaming until this long was a good test, actually, because what it's shown me is that the lighting options in this room are dreadful. My options for lighting in here are bad. Sonic's eye. And then Tails is to the right of him. These puzzles would probably be easier if I actually used the legend. But why the fuck would I do that? I 
That's a bit of tails. So Rouge has got to be to the right of Shadow somewhere. Yeah. And then, okay. Name five more things you're fed up with. <laughs> Fed up with this jigsaw puzzle, man. <laughs> but I'm so close. My obsessive personality showing through here. Not quite done. Is that a shoe or is that a hand? That's an arm, isn't it? I could have sworn I attached that one there before and it was wrong. If I can get the bottom in. Still too low, too low. Could be a nice one where the black is nice and high. Yes. Into the shoe. Yes. Aha! Yeah, what I'm going to need is a lamp, maybe on the shelf next to me, and then lit down on the uh, on the desk. So if I'm going to be streaming the building of Gunpla in the evening, then light's going to be an issue. Just another reason why we were streaming it now. See, it was a great idea, Boo Boo. There's a bit of shoe. I know there was a bit of shoe. It's now getting too dark to see the pieces properly. You know what's an answer for you? Maybe if you didn't have such a massive head, your lighting wouldn't be blocked out. You fucking what? Can't get rid of it now. Which button is it? God damn it. Hand is that? It's Tails' hand. It's always been Tails' hand.
Christ. I'm so glad when this puzzle's over. Barely see what I'm doing in this light. How are we doing? Where's the dog? Not in this room? Wouldn't let the dog in this room. That'd be a disaster. That would undo everything I've tried to achieve. Dog, not even once. I could stop at any time, he says. Oh, fucking hell. This took forever. This one in particular took fucking forever. It had to be the last one. Oh, right. I now got the gunplay down for this evening. Ideally, that needs to be a night when I've got the following day off. Saturday night. Gun plus Saturday night. There's no way I'm in a thick condition now after streaming an aggravating as fuck jigsaw puzzle <laughs> pack <laughs> for three hours.
what I'm gonna do is see what Jim's streaming tonight and if it's power wash or something like that or you know we're gonna go back to destiny that's fine happy to do that I need to work on making this space more comfortable to stream in with any luck the next time I stream from this room I won't be standing barefoot on a nasty laminated floor not cancelled moved Saturday I'm balls deep in Gundam. I can't cancel it. Got sets up the wazoo. This stream has been a good test of, you know, making sure it's comfortable. Because there's definitely a lot that needs to be done to this setup. I need to get some more boxes from work, some more empty boxes. To get rid of more of this junk that's in this old office. To make this uh, setup work. Definitely need to do something about the lighting. A lamp of some description. If we're going to use this Logitech as the webcam of choice. It works best with a lamp. Even if it's just a, um, a ring light. I mean, I got one of those from back when I used to do the green screen stuff. Ring light's probably more than enough for our needs. So we use the ring light for light. Building, you know, doing puzzles, stuff like that. Shit, I'm into this, man. It's my jam. Bet your ass I'll do something like this again. Not just gunpla and model figurines, but just puzzles. Might pick up some more conventional jigsaws. I've had these jigsaw puzzles sitting around since like 2016, 2017. Got them at a boot fair. Just feels nice to have finally done something with them. find out what the dimensions of them all together are, find out what kind of card I would need to mount them on. I'll mount them, I'll turn them into an art piece. I mean that's what figurine building, you know, Gumpel is about is essentially building a puzzle that becomes a piece of art. There's definitely got to be a more convenient way of doing this. Done. Oh man.
sick of Sonic. I don't want to look at this asshole again. <laughs> I think I've gone off Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's about the only game still releasing this year that I'm interested in. Hogwarts Legacy has been pushed till next year. I mean, Dokavi might as well be cancelled now. That's the uh, incredibly solarized max 2.9 meters. That don't tell me shit. Oh, I think they're connected like this. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Probably. Very solarized box. Right. I'm going to consider that a successful experiment. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I know what needs to be changed. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to do the gun plot tonight. It's just not. No, I'm not in it. I'm. I'm exhausted now. It's warm in here, and I've been sweating like a bitch. All right. Take care, everybody.